I've heard about these four letter abbreviations of characters before. Don't know if I agree with them, but whatever you say. Yeah. Perhaps you've heard of uh, the Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, a system that diagnoses people into 16 distinct personality types. The MBTI is used by psychologists all over the world to try to predict your personality type and your unique thinking patterns. Scientific versions of the MBTI also exist, such as the Big Five model, which works with similar scales and traits and inventories. In today's video, I'll be going up to complete strangers and showing you how easy it is to guess somebody's personality type and to understand who they are if you get to know and think about and learn to recognize these traits in the real world. Sure. Cool. So, okay, I'm gonna guess that uh, first of all you are more of an introvert. I think ambiverted inf introvert, so you like to think before you speak, you like to uh, take things more slowly and how you approach things. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I wouldn't say super introverted, but uh, yeah, introverted tendencies, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'd guess that you are more intuitive, that means open to experience, uh, big imagination, uh, like to think about new ideas. All right, yeah. yeah, I would say so, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Uh, I'd also say you're more of a thinking type, so more likely to approach things logically and strategically. Uh, Critically. Sure, yeah, I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> Where do you get that from? Oh, just uh, from your smile and how you approach things. Oh, uh, yeah, more critical, more studious. Definitely. Yeah. And it's also part of my job. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? What do you do? Uh, I do data analysis, so oh. I do need to think a lot critically and like yeah. details and dig into stuff, so yeah, for sure. That sounds awesome. Uh, <laughs> my last guess would be that you're more of a judging type, so more conscientious. Um, um, like to have a goal, like to have a plan. Definitely, but having a hard time doing so. <laughs> oh, right. So it would be like the go-to thing, but uh, also a free spirit kind of person. Don't really like to plan too much. Feel like it's necessary sometimes, but yeah, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a battle inside me. Yeah. Huh. So you're a bit stuck between perceiving and judging. So I'm curious to understand that one better. Uh, would you say that you are more serious in practice or that you're more playful? More playful. Right. Yeah. And uh, generally, uh, do you feel uh, that being more goal-oriented makes you more calm? Or would you say that it makes you more stressed? More stressed, for sure, yeah, yeah. Right. More so stressed. In that sense, I think I had it wrong, then I think you're a perceiving type. So that would be the INTP personality type. All right. Uh, they're known for being the scientists, the analysts. Uh, uh, they are known for being philosophical, theoretical, uh, for thinking in pros and cons, this versus that, uh, right versus wrong. Uh, and uh, they're more likely to be uh, argumentative, like discussions. And they are good at thinking of options and thinking of what how things could be different. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, spot on. Uh, I just did this, um, I think, like a couple of weeks ago, uh, actually, for my work. INTP is exactly like spot on what I got from like actually answering questions, not just uh, you looking at me. So that was that was impressive. Interesting. <laughs> I'm glad it worked out. Uh, thank you so much. The goal for me with today's video is to get the people I meet to feel more connected to themselves and to each other, to form a better understanding of themselves and to get people to introspect a little bit more on who they are and what they love and what they like about themselves. Awesome, so cool. Uh, I'm gonna first of all guess that you are more of an introvert, more think before you speak, more calm. Yes, I think before I speak. That, I don't know if that makes me an introvert, but I do think before. Oh, <laughs> I do think before I speak, but I am quite open or extrovert on what I think. Oh, but that doesn't mean that I don't think before I speak. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, uh, then I had that one wrong. But I'm gonna guess the other ones. I'm gonna guess that you are more of a sensing type, more practical, more down to earth in how you approach things. Um. Yeah. Who am I? Am I a practical type? Uh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> well, uh, mm, 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 mm. Are you telling them to be consistent? Uh, I'm very consistent. Do you change I'm your cons mind often? No. no, I'm very consistent. Right. Uh, um, not that th that's not a good trade or anything, it's just a trade. Yeah. I'm very consistent. Am I practical? I don't know. But I am consistent, yes. Cool. And I'm going to guess that you're more of a feeling type, so more people oriented, more compassionate. Very, very much so. More towards people and, and social equations than to theory and knowledge. Right. Yeah. That's cool. And the last one, I'm going to guess that you're more conscientious, uh, more goal-oriented, uh, more organized and structured. 
and uh, then easygoing, adaptable mm. and spontaneous. No, no, I'm very much spontaneous, easygoing and I'm not less I'm less occupied with the bigger picture than I should be. <laughs> so I'm less organized than I should be. No, I'm more of a easygoing going with the flow type and not thinking about the bigger picture. Fantastic. Okay. Are there really 16 personalities? No, not really. There are 8 billion. Every single person is unique. And uh, if you get to know people, you'll always notice contradictions, small nuances and differences that you didn't immediately notice. Uh, would you be able to take your sunglasses off for that? Uh, I don't know. That's okay. Uh, I'll try it out. Uh, so I'm going to start guess uh, that you're more of an introvert. Uh, you like to think before you speak. You get more energy from uh, reflecting and being by yourself. Uh, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Cool. Uh, and I'm gonna guess that uh, uh, you are more of uh, thinking type. Uh, so now uh, feeling type then. <laughs> I changed my mind as well as soon as I said it. <laughs> uh, so feeling type means you're more people oriented, more compassionate, more giving towards other people. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. pretty accurate. And uh, the last one, I'm gonna guess that you are more of a perceiving type. Uh, so that means you're more adaptable, spontaneous, easygoing. Uh, in how you approach things, more flexible. Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah. And the last one, I'm gonna guess that you're more of an intuitive. That means you're more open to experience, trying out new things, and you like discussing ideas and theoretical topics and philosophy. Yeah, that's pretty accurate as well. Awesome. Uh, that would be the INFP mediator personality type. Uh, so. Uh, that would be a uh, personal type that is uh, yeah, very self-reflective, introspective, uh, individualistic, march to the beat of their own drum, uh, see the other point of view very easily, creative, and uh, quite philosophical. Uh, that's, that's very impressive. <laughs> uh, that's very accurate. I cannot see anything. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start out by guessing that you are more of a uh, judging type so more goal oriented more organized and uh, more structured in how you approach things uh, I'm gonna say that you are more of uh, thinking type uh, so more logical in how you approach things um, and I'm gonna say that you are more uh, uh, imaginative and more open to new things uh, like being creative like uh, discussing ideas uh, and for the last one, I'm going to say that I think you're more introverted. So that means uh, <laughs> uh, you like to think before you speak and you like to uh, be more methodical in how you approach things. Would you say that's about right? Yeah, I think so. Maybe, the, yeah. I was doubting about the goal oriented, but maybe, yeah. We can test it out a bit. So, uh, like the difference is, uh, uh, judging types they are more, f types, yeah, yeah, they're more decisive. Uh, they are more about sticking to a plan and making a plan. And uh, uh, the perceiving yeah. types they are more adaptable, keeping things open and uh, like changing things last minute and yeah, change things around as you go. Yeah, I don't like change that much. Right. Correct. That is really cool. So the INTJ, they're known to be, uh, yeah, they, they're sometimes called the strategists, sometimes mm -hmm. called the masterminds, uh, because they always think about the future, what's next, where they're going in their life, in a sense. Uh, they're also known for having very original ideas and thoughts and being quite philosophical. Mm -hmm. They're known for being fairly analytical and uh, logical in how they approach mm -hmm. things and for being quite systematic. So like when they have to make a decision, they usually think of like uh, come up with a system or a way or approach or a strategy to do it. Okay, and what's the type you say? INTJ. INTJ. Yeah. Okay. Feel free to